there's a lot of things happening around in Middle Earth. We are going hard against these wildmen bastards. Lord Eladan is about to attack Alkfoot. Remains to be seen though if we attack here. It's a heavily fortified region. We are attacking Suduri in the west here. We are going to attack with Elrond and Dunlarak. Hopefully the northern Dunedain can defend at Byrig. We also have a fleet that is beginning to close itself over to Pelargir. We want to try and take that, give it away straight and just go forward. Take Minas Tirith, both of the Osgiliaths and Kerandros quickly. And that's not all. We also have Glorfindel on his way back to Imladris. We want to get his army ready, get the mission started and um, move for Mordor. Destroy that ring. That is the plan, to save Middle Earth. We are going to try with everything we have left. Every bit of strength we have, we are going to use it against Mordor. That is the simple truth. And uh, we have... The army should be quite ready to move out straight away almost. I don't want to linger. Ideally, what I kind of want to do is to move out with the army straight away. And not linger. We could start moving out with these Noldor enforcers. Uh, the upgraded ones. Let's take these two, because I want, they could move before Glorfindel starts moving, because Glorfindel is going to catch up to these guys. He has a lot of movement points, so I'm not worried about that at all. He's going to be able to catch up to these units, uh, make no mistake. We are going to take these guys with us. Let's move them further up there. Start them on their journey. You are going to Kenneth Bryn. Let's take a look. How many troops do we have? We're retraining some more Noldo here. Um, we have a few Noldo on the way here. Get the pikes there. And uh, yeah, it might not be the most elite army in the world that we send with Glorfinder, but we just need to go. The destruction of Mordor cannot linger. The lives of the human race and the free peoples of Middle Earth hangs in the balance here. These guys would have been better to have here, but they're gonna go in here. Conceal our movements. And... For the well, you're going to retrain, you're going in there, Science. you're going to start the mission. These guys are joining. We're gonna have some more Noldrin troops joining. We won't have any Pikes, we won't have any Rockwen, except Glorfinel, of course. Elves. And we have plenty of siege here that we could use. For the light! Uh, these one, this ballista and this catapult is going to join. Let's take another yes, catapult with us. These two catapults are going to go down towards this area. Swiftly. Do we have anything we can go for here? Nothing. I'm not going to recruit too many troops though because we, we are really thinning out in terms of troops. We should probably send in one or two units of the Amania Riders into the army as well, I think. Would be beneficial. So we are likely going to do that. We need to fill the army up. We should probably take some Amania Swordmasters with us as well. They're pretty damn solid. Um, Dawn and Norston could join as well, but then again, I kind of want him down here in the south. He is actually going to start moving towards Austin and Hill. I want to create an army with him as well. So that he can help with um, Isengard later. So he's going to move down there. And the rest of these troops are going to be gathered up into one solid army. That is the plan here. Is there anything we could send? We could probably send some of these units with us as well. These archers would be nice to have. Yeah, the army isn't ready just yet. But uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's going to be ready soon. And we were at an end turn, so we shall indeed end the turn. And it remains to be seen now if um, Byrig falls to Dunland again. Let's end the turn. Let's do it. Oh, of course. You need to move as well. Oh, look at that. Dolgul dude. We're chasing you. Well, let them chase. Those guys are in safety. Did it fall? I don't think that... Uh, Oh, no way. I think that Inan White, White might have attacked 
the northern Dunedain here, so the reinforcement army standing outside of Barrick might not have helped. Just a glance of no, just, okay, they're attacking me. Well, doesn't matter. We have blocked a port. What did I need? To, no, we did complete the mission, so we no longer need to block that port, anyways. So it doesn't really matter. We could just disband that fleet, save some extra bucks. Could be beneficial. Done landings. Are you about to take it back? Hopefully not. I really hope that you failed in your attack there. If you did, things look a lot better for us. We really want the Northern Dunedain to keep... Oh. Khan's leader is dead. Khan's leader is dead. Are they done for? Also, let's take the history guild there. Uh, Money-wise, we're not doing too well. But we're probably queuing up a lot of buildings. No, maybe not. Go for the crop rotation here. Barclay, great art guild. We're going for the fairground. We did queue that one up. Furious builders guild house over here. Economical things. Go for the shipwright. Angsul dockyard. We're going for the crop rotation. That and Kandum irrigation. Something cheap. Uh, armor. Go for the armor here. We are out of money. We are. And we really shouldn't recruit too many new troops now. I think. We should stick with the ones that we have. Your orders. You are on your way to talk to Bree, that's right. Elves. You're moving over to this side, you're going into Austin and Hill to train there. Conceal our movements. You are also supporting down here. Not really sure that we're gonna need you here though. Come on. I'm not. This general is on his way towards Dol Warn. Well, we're out of money. How does it look here? Well, not too great. Not too great. Let's disband this fleet here. Let's do it. We could disband these units here. And then if we do, we are going to make money again, I think. Maybe we should. Anyone that does not free upkeep. Let's uh, disband one of you, and then he's free upkeep, that's good. You, are, All of your free upkeep, all of your free upkeep, your free upkeep. My lord. Um, For the light. We are going to disband this army. Let's do it. It pains me a great deal to do this, but let's do it. We really don't need these units here, we don't need them. That should save us a bit of extra money. Yes, it does. And we should earn money again with that, I think. A little bit, a tiny amount. That's good. Yeah, please do something, Aranarth. Ranger Captain. Yeah, the faction there. Kirdan. Keep moving. Go for Londa. Yeah, attack. Oh, no. Bloody hell. Okay. Yeah, just move down here again. Oh, my lord, I hate that. Should you really go for Alkfurt? They have another army on the way here. I'm not sure that we should. You are on your way towards Dunlarak, though. That's good. Move in there. You're going into Austin Adil. This one is done in one turn. That's really good. How many free upkeep slots do we have? Four units. Retrain these buggers. Get their armor upgraded. We still cannot retrain Gildor though, that's a big shame. Come move with Dunlarak with your elite army. Glorfindel. You're gonna move into Imladris territory. You are headed towards Kamath Breen to make us earn a bit more money there. Let's move these guys up here. Let's take a look and see on this army. Is there anything we could merge? These spears, these archers and these swords. And the Cav, and the Pikes. They are going to be a part of the Elite Army as well, I think. Yeah, they are. They could move further over there. They're going to be a part of that army. We are going to disband these units. For some extra money. Not the two Elites, though. We are going to train them. These two Elites are going to take the long journey over to Austin Hill to be retrained later. Yes, my lord. Elven warriors. 
Dawn and Austin, you're also on your way towards Austin Hill. Move down there, please. Should we really strike at Alcud? It's a city and uh, it's going to be a painful battle here. It is. Oh, this sucks. You know what? I'm going to do this. I, I, I rarely do this, but uh, this time I'm going to. There we go. There, move down there. I didn't mean him to take this weird path. And Lord Eladan, should we send it to Alkford or should we ignore Alkford and move for Londa Angren instead and give this one to Gondor and then move down to Balorn? Yeah, you know what? I think we are going to do that. Let's ignore Alkford. Okay, oh, bloody hell. I just told you to go there and you, you have vision over Alkford and even though you're walking past it so that you cannot move further. That's... Uh, blood deal. Okay, they might attack me there. We need to withdraw if they do. Okay. Okay, good. Let's take a look at the fleet. Oh. Are they trying to block me here? What are they doing? Oh, Methras has also fallen to Mordor. Ethring is still alive, that's good, but Methrust has fallen. Move quickly, fleet. We need you to move with haste. And you're almost there. Two turns, and then you are at Pelargir. We will begin our attack there. At Pelargir. Okay. Um, are they still sieging here? Yes, they are, but they have another army on the way. If they're lucky, they might be able to send this army in and aid here with that army as well. I really hope that they keep this region, otherwise we have a lot of issues. I don't want to fight the Byron battle again, I do not want to. You can move into the fort there, be free upkeep. We're going into Kemeth Breen, retrain what can be restrained here. And send them out into forts. Um, you are completed, you are completed, you can go into a fort, leave room for another unit. You are completed, leave room for another unit please. Good. Uh, let's see if we can merge you and retrain. There we go. Okay, good. You are moving down there, that's okay. And you are going in there as well. Cool, look at this. Casa Doom is a powerhouse now, it looks like. They're sending a lot of armies down here, or up here. And they have garrisoned Dane's Halls, finally. It took a while, but they have done it now. They should win now. I think that they should be able to defeat... Um, Dolguldur, without too many issues. I really do think so. Uh, let's retrain the troops here, because we c can. We did get the Noldrin armor there as well. Okay. Anything else that I need to do? Not sure, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. We should save a bit of money for the Dolvorn. Uh, and get, uh, buy. We are going to buy that, so we need some money to do that. But the general that is here is going to stay outside of Dolwarn and wait until we buy it from them. Let's end the turn again. Okie dokie. Let's see if we start the ring quest here. I'm going to go with Glorfindel because he is a mighty character and this quest deserves a mighty lord to do it. I know that there is a chance that he might die, but um, oh yeah, they did attack me. Let's see if we can withdraw. There's still time to what? save our people. Oh my god, I don't want to fight these dis oh chariots and things. My army is not that great. The elites are really battered, and. Oh Jesus! Oh, they have a pretty. They have some decent units as well. But this is not a general-led army. They have bloody chariots, though. That's pain. It's a big pain. It is. Oh, they just have so many things. This is going to hurt. As I've said, my line is not that strong. It's not. They don't have a general in neither of these armies, though. So that's a good thing. But they have a lot of chariots, and chariots are insane. They are. Well, 
let's try and see what we can do here. I'm going to try. If we do well, we might be able to take Olkford after. So let's go in. Let's do it. Put an end to this evil. We need a good position in this fight. We desperately do. And is there any good position? Well... Ah, uh, where do we spawn? I don't like this map. I can tell you already, I do not like this map at all. There's a lot of trees dotted around everywhere and I am not a fan of that. I am not a fan. We could position somewhere around here. We would get some kind of a hill advantage, but um, they might just totally swamp me because they have the numbers. And look at my front line, it's so weak. It's so weak. We have the smiths and uh, we have some siege. We have a lot of archers though, that's a good thing. We need to pepper them down effectively here. We have some cav. Uh, we're gonna have to use these guys as chargers as well. Siege weapons. Where do we form up with you? On the top here maybe? I don't want you to stand over there. Stand over there instead, because I don't want you to risk getting shot at by my own siege weapons. Go for fire, will go for flaming, and let's start this battle. The enemy are in yeah, let's go. Oh, this is going to be tough. It is going to be tough. I'm sensing it already. This is going to be a pain. I'm not sure that they are going to even attack me like they did the last time. They didn't even... Oh, they're spawning quite close to me as well. This is going to be a tough fight. I am not sure that we are going to win here, because they have so many things. Try and weaken these herders a little bit. Ideally, maybe even the war wagons, but I'm not sure we want to go that close. You can reach. Feel fr free to fire at will. Where's the general? Is this the general? No, they have, have another chariot. Fire at the war wagons. And you can do the same. Fire at the war wagons there try and focus maybe on uh, yeah okay keep throwing firing at the war wagons please do everything you can like, in that regard are we hitting anything a little bit where we brought one down there well done follow them oh they have another army they have a lot of bloody they have quite a lot of chariots in their army yeah, they're moving with their army. Focus down the chariots. Here comes the herders. One of you can help with them a little bit. They're moving in with their army. Entire army is moving in here. They're focusing their javelins on my cab. But there we go. We kill the general. Good. Well done. Get rid of these herders, please. They're in the way. Yeah, Ambaxathoi. All of those guys are almost piercing. Here we have another chariot unit moving in. You need to go back for now. And ideally, fire the blob instead. Just go for the blob. Chariots. Where are those chariots? We have some more chariots up there. We need to focus those chariots down. Get rid of those chariots. They are the biggest danger in this fight. They are. They're moving in now. Their Ambaxa Thoy are moving in. The javelin troops are moving in. We've killed only 3% of their army. We have killed the captain though. Focus the chariots, all of you. And oh, the other chariots are closing in. Keep focusing the beats. Oh, they're moving after my cab. Please don't go for their cab. Oh, you're just hitting your own troops. Now, that's not ideal, is it? Get rid of them. There we go. The other general has been killed. Well done. We're destroying them in the back. You need to try and move in against them. Move in. Close the gap. Please get rid of these chariots. Oh my god. The catapult is killing her. Okay, you need to move closer. You need to move closer. You're just killing your own troops here. Luckily for us, it's only the cell swords. But that's not great. They're broken. Good, 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 good. Move forwards. Go for no, that's border guards, do not go for them. Those inner Dwightian marksmen though, we need to try and go for. You need to start moving. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, overview of the battle map. Uh, go for these herders. You're moving out to the flank. Good. Do that. You're moving to flank as well. 
do that, please. Siege weapons. If you can, focus on this army. Chase these guys down a little bit, make them not return. We need these guys to break and not return. It's crucial that we do that. Pray something changes in the course of battle. You're not doing anything. Tie up these marksmen. Our front line is so weak, it's insane. Go for a charge here quickly. You need to kite the hell away from there. Are we only hitting our own troops this day? Is that the only thing we're doing here? Oh, look at the hordes. Look at the hordes that they have. It's insane. It's truly insane. Filana herders are chasing after us. Oh, I don't even know what to do here. They have too many things. These guys are broken. Archers on the flank here. Please get rid of these um, cavalry units. These herders. There we go. We're beginning to get some good shots off. Uh, these archers here in the back need to block. Go for the border guards. Block the entrance. Kite away. Unit. Oh, you're getting caught by these marksmen. Okay, keep fighting them. You're going to aid it with a charge on them. I don't think you need to. Go for a charge here instead. Try and break as many of these people as possible. We're getting some good damage off. Uh, keep firing in the blob here. Let's take a look. Can we break this blob here? We need to break this blob here. That's what we need to... That's a pathetic charge there. Archers, don't focus there anymore. Focus here in the big blob there. That's the focus target. Are you losing the fight here against them? It feels like you are almost. Go out. A lot of border guards are chasing after us. Well, at least we have a lot of archers that we can send in into melee when they're done with their ammo. That's a good thing, I guess. And we are shielding our siege. They're still firing and they're doing massive amounts of damage at the moment. Marksmen are broken. Good. The Where are you? Are You're over there. They have lost half their men. Where can you charge? Uh, go, in, go in there quickly. Try and break these Kifi Huntmans quickly. No, don't go in for the spears. That's not what I told you to do. Go in for a charge here. Try and break them here. Okay, siege weapons, you're still firing. Not this ballista though, but it doesn't matter. Have we broken them? They're not breaking. These guys are not breaking. We've killed 40% of their army. We're doing well. We're doing okay. Here come some more border guards. Ignore them. Run away from them. Oh, you're getting caught here by some more bloody border guards. Oh, you're just hitting your own troops here. Oh, you're missing every enemy and hitting only your own troops. That's what you're doing at the moment. I think you need to go in there as well and support. See, these guys are broken. Well done. You are doing well in the front lines. Are we even charging here? I don't think so. They're wavering though. No, they're not breaking. Move out. Oh, the charges haven't been great this day. They haven't. You're plugging the gap there. That's wonderful. Archers, keep up the fire there. Do everything you can. Try and go away from these bloody border guards. They're so painful because they're chasing after me everywhere. Where are my... Oh, they're over here. They're winning hard. They're winning so hard. Well done. I'm so happy that we had the smiths in this fight. Go and fight these... Croicoile uh, Cosantiori. <laughs> I'm not sure that I pronounced that correctly. I don't think so. Go for a charge. I want to break this side away completely. I want to get rid of it entirely. You are out of ammo. Go in somewhere. Aid wherever you can aid. A lot of things are breaking apart from their army. It looks like we are going to win. You're not doing anything. Try and go for some fishermen or something. Can we finally break these border guards? Are not even grouped up accordingly here. They just have so many things. They really do. Are they broken yet? No, these border guards. These bloody border guards. They're insane. They refuse to break. Can you just get the hell out of there, please? You're out of ammunition. Please go in against these border guards. Don't... Let them run after my cab. You're in a bad position here. 
get the hell out of there. Not you. you the cab need to get out. I don't think we have gotten a single good charge in this fight. It feels like it. Go in. Oh, these border guards are broken. That's good. How much have we killed? 64% of their army. We still do. Are you out of ammunition? You're out of ammunition. No. Take control over that and fire down there. Cav. What do you have here? Spearmen. Marksmen. Go after the marksmen. You are going for the guardsmen. Go for them. Just try and get rid of those guys. You can go in for the border guards. You're out of ammunition anyways. Well, I'm really happy that we managed to shut the uh, chariots down. I'm really happy about that. Those things can do a lot of damage. Are you not breaking them? No, you're not. Okay, it looks like these guys haven't done a single good charge in this fight. Get the hell out of there. These guys are broken. Move in. Go break these guardsmen, please. Get rid of them. One of you can chase after the spears there. Oh. Terrible. It's absolutely terrible shot. Okay, where do we send you in? Border guards. I'm just seeing border guards everywhere. That's the only unit that I see. Border guards there as well. What a surprise. <laughs> can we break these fishermen here with this charge? Yes, we can. Give chase a little bit. You're going to charge these border guards in the back. Seems to be yeah, it's swinging in our, our favor now. From such tidings, victory these spearmen are broken. We need to try and chase as much of these things down as possible. Everything needs to die here. Siege, I think that you have done enough. Even though we did get some quite a lot of friendly fire this day. I continue. I think that it might have been worth it. The damage? Dude. What the hell are you doing? I told you to stop firing and you're trying to destroy my general here. Are you one, Do you want to kill your own factionaire? Or that's not the factionaire, but uh, maybe it is. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yes, it is. It, it is the factionaire. Uh, that could have ended poorly. <laughs> he almost killed him. Everyone just chase, 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 chase. Kill as many of these disgusting Inadvithian assholes as possible. Well, we did manage to win. I, I, I weren't sure though. I were, we are too few in numbers in these cavalry units. We're not getting the kills. And my cav is so spread out here as well. Try and chase as much as possible before they survive. Killed a few there. 90%. I don't think that is 90%. Though. Keep chasing these shites down. Every last one of them. Kill as many as possible. Okay, what do they still have on the battlefield? These guys here. If we could sneak into Oxford with this victory here, then I would be more than happy. That's enough. Well, I think we healed quite a bit here as well, which I'm really happy for. Look at these smiths here. Gold and chevrons. Uh, they're really powerful. Now, let's take a look at the kills. 313 kills on the Dunedain bodyguard. The smiths. 209 kills on the smiths, even though they were really low in numbers. Well, everyone performed well, and the catapult got the most. We did get a lot of friendly fire though, but they performed well, have to say. Well, I'm pretty damn pleased with this battle, even though it was a tough one. We did get some losses here, but it was, it was a great one. We got rid of a lot of armies here, so well done. We are going to execute them all. And... Arkford? Yeah, oh, they sent one unit in there. 
almost we could nip in and take it. It was really close. Really close. But we should probably be able to just out-resolve a victory there now. With them only having one unit there. We are going to try and see what we can do. Uh, if Alkfood could fall, that would be really beneficial for all of the free peoples of Middle-earth. Okay, well, we are earning a few money. Not too much, though. Except that. The White Council. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. Threat of Mordor. I think we need to wait for one more turn before we move out. So, Glorfindel is going to stay there. A lot of buildings got done this turn. Austin Adil, Noldor Barracks. Oh, that's really lovely to see. Are we going to recruit anything yet now, though? No, I don't think so. Go for something economical. This one is something... Ah. Go for the market. It's cheap. Molotov. Oh, we, yeah, we're queuing up a lot of buildings there. Anon Rods, we're queuing up... Up there? Yeah, we are. Bruinost. Go for the inn. It will provide a bit of money. Sakalla, well... On the towers, roads, we're going for the master builders. Mithlond vineyard, we cannot even afford a building here, so we're not going to go for anything. Okay, we did get the veterans there, that's good. Come, my brothers. You can join in there, and we should be able to out-resolve. Let's take a look and see. We should be able to out-resolve here. I'm going to try clear victory. Yes, worth it. Absolutely worth it. Go in, sack it for the money, because we need the money. And I wanted to move out straight away. Get one tower here, why not? Uh, we are going to give this one to the North and Duna line as well. Where are they? Uh, are you going to use that army? Oh, they've emptied Ostsul, that's a good sign. Very poor. Well, I'm going to ask for some money from you. 5k, something. I need something from you. Can you afford that? Yes, you can. Thank you, because we need the money. 11k now in the bank. That's good. Byrig is safe. That is also really good. You can move into the fort there if you want to. Elrond, I want you to lay siege to Dunlarak. Let's take a look and see what they have inside. Chariots, marksmen. Oh, this is going to be tough to slog through. We have a lot of siege, though. So, um, no we might go for an attack then. Oh, we can get something over here then, I guess. Mithlond. Get the... Get the inn. Extra money. Where's my little army? You're over there. Elves. Keep going on your journey. On. Go to Ost in Avil. Can we outer us all here as well? Yes, we can. Good, let's do it. Sack it for the money. Armies. And Come Kirdan, on, I want you to move in. Do we have any siege? We do not have any siege here. Merge the troops. Send in some of these elites from this army into his army. Spears could join because we could probably merge them. Maybe not. Let me take a look. Uh, the things you, I want you to join. And let's take the javelins with us. Well, that's enough. I guess. Yeah, that's enough. That's that's totally enough. Let's go in and siege Londa. Go. I don't care if we're at war with them. You are going to go to... Where do we send you? Uh, maybe you could go for a cheeky charge. Cheeky attack on Lond Angren. They don't look too defensive there. So let's see what you can do there. Uh, do we have another diplomat? We haven't... You know what? No. We should give this one to... To... Um, yes, my lord. Without question. For the we life. could try and exchange... No, Bree doesn't deserve this, do they? No, they do not. I don't think they do. We could exchange it for Dol Vaughn, though. Here, which they have upgraded. 
Yeah, let's try. Let's try and do that. Let's try and uh, exchange it with Bree. My lord. Dear friends, what can we do for you today? Saturi. And I want you to give me Dolvorn. Very demanding. How about if we pay you? Ten grand for it as well. Very demanding. Okay, try and make offer. I don't think they're going to accept though. They're bankrupt. They should need the money. Do you think oh me god, they <laughs> absolutely we'll didn't want to do that. Alright, maybe we should keep Saturi then to earn some money. We might want to do that. Uh, try and move back. Let's see if they take it back. I'm not sure that they are going to. They might want to try and protect Dunlarak and other regions. So I don't think they are. They didn't get a garrison there, but they're likely to send some armies down there. You're moving further down south. Let's go down there. See what you can do there. We need to wait here for a few more turns until the actual mission starts. You're headed down there as well. Move down there. Retrain yourself. Okay. Let's uh, prepare the army, shall we? You're on your way home as well. Okay, you know what? Just group up. Let's see what we want to take with us. You, we absolutely want to take with us. All of these guys we want to have with us. Uh, we're going to have five more. Elves. Get the siege in. Get the cav in as well. Get the. Yes, my lord. Do we get the sword? Yeah, get the sword masters. We have five. Yeah, that's enough. This is going to be the army that Glorfindel goes with, and plus these units here. That should be enough, I think. We are going to start moving these guys over because Glorfindel is going to catch up to them, anyways. Retrain a few more troops. Let's send you into the fort. We can disband you. You are going down as well to Austin and Hill. Let's move down. Let's take a look at the fleet. Let's not forget about the fleet, shall we? Let's move over here. Oh, please do not block me, anyone. Go forwards. Oh. Two units inside. Hopefully we can just nip in and take this one quickly. And give it to Gondor straight away. We have diplomats close by. They are under attack here. But stay here. There should be an army ready to tr treaty with. Uh, in the next turn when we, when we take Pelargir, I think. So we should be fine. Uh, we could... We only have one diplomat here though. That's this thing. We need more money if we want to get Dolvorn. That's a... Pretty, yeah, we need more money Science. if we are to get this. I'm guessing like 50,000 or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. We could, if we want to, go and take this region here or something and give it away to Casadum for 60k, and then we should be able to make the trade at Dolvorn. But uh, we are not desperate. We're not desperate yet. You, Still no enemy. guild or retraining. No. Doesn't look like it. That's really sad. Okay, let's end a turn. Let's do it. Let's see if Enadwife takes back Suduri. I don't think that they are going to because we are pressuring them in other territories. They're likely not going to. If they do, we're just going to attack them and take it back. Again. If it happens. I don't think it's going to happen. We are going to save some money now. And try and get that Dolvorn purchase. I really would like to have that region. into my. It's funny. We are giving everything away to the good people. And they cannot give me anything. Even though we're paying and giving them things in return with the treaties. Bree hates me. <laughs> they were really angry with me for trying. Uh, it really looks like the AI hates me. It does look like it. Well, Olkfood sacked. Rioting Suduri. 
Well, no, they didn't take it back. Come, my brother. Well, then, I don't think you need to return. Because we are going to give it away to the north and do the nine. That's what we're gonna do here. My lord. Tis good to see you, my friend. Poor How can we help? Satori, take it. And I want you to give me 10k this time. Make off that. I do not uh, believe you have okay. further proposals. Please let us hear them. 5k then. Could you afford that? Are you wealthy enough for that? Please say that you are. I yeah, thank you. At least a bit of money at Farewell. least. Did they get a garrison though? They did get a garrison. <laughs> Some pirates as well. Lovely to see. I mean, what is going on here? I'm going to risk it. Yeah, clear victory. Good work. Sack it. Oh. Yeah, we are... Are they going to spawn in a new army? I think that they might. Oh, here we go. New mission. Okay, bloody hell. It's lagging here. I don't want to click anything weird now. It's lagging hard with Ard and I'm... Okay. White Council's Dilemma. Oh, it's so laggy. I think it is because of the fact that we just destroyed the Ardenaim. They're probably spawning in an army somewhere. It's lagging hard. The entire game is just freezing here. But this usually happens when you do this. I really hope that this message doesn't pull away here. I don't think the game has crashed, I just think it's working with the spawned in Ardenheim army. That's what I think it does here. Yeah, because something is happening. I'm probably just going to pause the recording until it's correctly loaded. Wait a second. I think the loading is now completed. Let's take a look. Carrying the ring is a heavy task. On the other hand, you are the only one capable to destroy it. Press accept if you wish to relinquish the one ring and let us hide it. Press decline if you believe you can take the ring deep into Mordor and cast it back into Mount Doom to destroy it. If you press decline, you will receive several resources from the council to aid you in the quest. Uh, oh, yep. <laughs> decline mission. Press decline if you believe you can take the ring. Yep, decline. Yes, good. Mission failed. 10,000 gold? Well, thank you. Increased by 500 coins, that's also good. The King's Purse have increased by 500 co coins. We need that, we do. Follow me. Uh, okay. Oh, look at this. Faction leader. Maybe we should try and just destroy these guys here. You're just boarding. Yeah, we could move out with you then for a turn. If we take this fight here, we are going to wipe these guys out. I don't think that they have... No. We should take the fight with them, because then they are wiped out entirely as a faction. Kamath Brin. Economy. Crop rotation. Uh, Famgathol armor. Let's go for the Noldrin armor there. Gahus under Hall of Muse. We'll go for that. No. Don't get that, please. Do not. Don't get anything here. Go be drawing fair ground. We're going for the Command of Farming there. Let's see if we can, yeah, new threat. Let's see if we can get the Dolvor now with the money we yes, have. Always happy to deal with you, no, don't give them anything. Friends. Make demand. They're bankrupt. Dolvor. We can pay you. Everything we have. Everything we have. Very demanding still, okay. It's not gonna happen then. Good day to you. It's not gonna happen. Not yet. We need more money than that. I'm not sure it's gonna be worth taking Dolvorn then. Okay, you are going to attack these other nine forces here. Just get rid of them from the world. That is the plan. You're still sieging here. That's good. You have the mission started. You have Gollum with you as well. Okay. Uh, did you provide a bonus? Plus movement points, that's good. Okay. Um, well, yes, let's start the journey with the army, shall we? Um, 
you're moving back to yeah, Austin Adil. Keep moving. Well, Glofendel is going to be able to catch up to you. So um, he absolutely is. Follow me. Over here, elves. It's only going to take Ready. one turn. So well, let's get them together in German army and start the journey towards Mordor. Get that thing destroyed. It looks like they have managed to defend Ethering. That's good to see. It's really good to see. Can we get into Pelagia here? Move over. Yes. And let's take a look. Yep. Easy out resolve here. They only have two units. Go in. Oh, they killed 200 units. That's insane. We must defend these lands. Just occupy it. What's the call to here? 33% Dunedain. They should get somewhat of a garrison here when we give this to them. I'm surprised that they did get so many kills. Mordor is a powerhouse in the outer soul. They really are. Move further up. You are going to talk to Gondor. Give region Pelagi. Take it back. As a gift. Extreme wealth they have. That's good. They did get a garrison. Good. Keep moving. Do they have a fleet here? No, no, they don't. Okay, good. Move up here. Can we not move past here? What? I thought you could. Well, do they have something in the way here? Well, let's see if we can get there in the next turn. Okay, let's see if we can get there. Otherwise, we're just going to have to walk on foot here and go in there instead. Okay, we are going to tell. Shut the hell up, Admiral. <laughs> Bloody hell. Let's take the fight. You can be controlled by the AI. Why not? Ar Indrazor is the faction leader. He has not the greatest army with him. And Captain Sagarako have some remnants. We have a ballista, which we are going to try and destroy. Um, well, let's move in and let us get rid of the Ard Nine once and for all. They have quite the pathetic army, if I'm saying so myself. So we're likely just going to go in and rush them down. We have the archer advantage though, so we should try, try maybe try and use our archers as well. <laughs> our melee line could probably do it on their own though, but we're going to use the archers. A few javelins with us as well, let's take them somewhere around there, why not? Start the battle. Archers, move up, start harassing them a bit. Javelins, you can move behind. I want this army to attack their reinforcing army. And ideally their ballista whenever you have the opportunity to do so. Oh, they're moving in for me. It looks like they are. Go behind the archers. Melee forces. I want you to pull forward slowly as well. Go forth. Kildan, you're going to be standing on the ready here to go in as well. As soon as the ballista has gotten into the battle map, you're going to focus this down. Just go in for this army, please. Do you have any care with you? No, but you have some pretty solid troops, so you should be able to win your engagement with their tiny army. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, are they moving for my reinforcement army? Are they just ignoring me? Kinda looks like they are. Here we have him, the Ardenheim faction leader. He is not going to survive though, he's gonna die. Cab, prepare yourself, move to the flank. Melee forces, why don't you just move in? Go in. Try and tie up as many of them as possible. And javelins, you are going to just go over there and throw whatever you can. Cav, I want you to silence their archers. You can fire the general if you want to. Go for their archers. Reinforcing army. You're moving in for their army. That's if good. We continue like this, we will smash the enemy. See if we go aggressive and go for their ballista. Mm. 
No, that's halberdiers. Archers. Focus halberdiers down. Not you. Focus your melee forces down. Kirdan, you could just join up here. You're gonna try and flank. You're going after... Yeah, you're going after my cab. Try and go away from those footmen. Pop the ability. Go for these bowmen there. Just uh, try and just go for them, guys. Yeah, they're firing at you. Maybe we should aid them. Yeah, we are going to aid them. Because otherwise they're never going to be able to take it down themselves. Okay, I think so. we are going for the ballista with the cab. My javelins are throwing... Kinda. Oh, their front line's crumbling hard here. Fire at the footmen. We just need to kill the generals here, and this faction is going to be wiped out. My army here, though, is having some issues because they're fighting a lot of things. Calaquendi Lords, though, he's still safe. Yeah, they're broken. Their front line is not gonna hold. You're not doing anything. Please tie something up. These halberdiers, maybe. You can fight them as well. You can fire at them. Let's take a look. Yeah, this ballista crew is not going to survive. We should be able to break them here. Is this their captain? Yes, it is. Kill him. Stay in combat with them and just kill him. Noldo veterans should be able to win here against the Corsa Raiders. The enemy are badly bloodied. It shouldn't be a huge issue. Men. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Was that the only the captain? No, yeah, it was captain. Yeah, they're sending some forces there. This is not really a battle that we can lose. Uh, it's not. We could still lose some of our forces here, but uh, we could lose our general. But I think we are fine. Archers, please step aside. Go over there. Javelins, fire at these units. You are not. You don't even have ammunition. You can go in for them. Let's take a look at the fighting here. Enemy general lies dead. Oh, we killed it. Yeah, let they're the gonna break all of them now. Miserable bones and let our swords have his men. Our Indrazor has died as well. Well, this battle is gonna be over soon. Definitely. Where's the Calaquendi Lords? Oh, he's over there. He's fighting some ho household guard. He's fighting their toughest units. Yeah, they're broken. You can go after these bowmen if you want to. And you can do the same. Go after them. Yeah, all of them are broken. I was going for you against the archers. You're going for these guys. See if we can charge these. Yeah, they're, all of them are broken as well. Let's go for the rows and our footmen. You can go after these guys. Well, this battle is over. It is... We have won this battle. The enemy are badly oh, they didn't break. They have lost Surprised. Half their men. What do they still have? These guys have returned. Just poke them down then. You are fighting these bowmen there and you're winning. The enemy army flees you can the join. Field. Pursue and run them down. Okay, that arm has been wiped out. We do not need to focus for them anymore. Cav. Go after these footmen. Just try and chase them down. You can fire them. Are these? Go for melee. Just try and catch up to these units, please. The enemy oh, there we go. The End the battle straight away. The Ord9 faction has today. been wiped out with this battle. They should never again return to these lands. How many riders got the most kills, I think? Yeah, they did. Well done. The Ardenheim faction is no more. Execute. And there we go.
they should be done for. Faction destroyed or other name, well done. Well done indeed. Um, Kirdan, Londa should be safe. They shouldn't be able to attack us because Londa is not bordering an enemy. You could go in there for a turn just to make sure that we're safe, but we're not going to. Both of you, you are going to move towards Isengard, Kirdan. Move to Isengard. You are going to move down for Lond Angren. And together, you could also move in there. Let's take a look. Four units. Yeah, clear victory. We won. Well done. <laughs> Sack it. Keep. We could stay there for a turn. But keep pushing, keep pushing. Do not stop. Okay. Glorfindel. Well, we need to end the turn, that's right. And then the next one, North and Dunedain are going to get some more territory. Lond Angren and Lond Dare they're going to get from us. We're still besieging um, Dunlarak with Elrond. We could probably just move in, but we're not going to do it just yet because I don't want to lose half my army. So keep besieging. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's do it. See what happens. Oh, I didn't tell you to move down, did I? I didn't want you to do that because you're going to move back up there. I think. I really want to get all worn. I wonder how much money we are going to need to get that region from Bree. Likely at least 60-70k in order to get that thing from them. Let's see if we can make it happen. Clans of Enedwaith, are you? No, you're not doing anything. Those bastards are on the back foot finally. God, I hate Enedwaith. And they're beginning to lose the war, finally. We have given away Pelargir to Gondor. That should be some kind of relief for them. Le Benin rec reclaimed, yep. Yeah. Dunland dwindles. Come New mission, Karasast. <laughs> well, we might go for it later. Go back there. Like the wind. Northern Dunedain are the most advanced. That is a big surprise. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. Um, you're going to move out from Lond Angren. Get out of there. I want you to move down I towards Balorn. Okay, let's give these regions away to the northern Dunedain as well. Yes, my lord, dear friends. They should be doing quite well now. The northern Dunedain, and you can pay me 10k. You should absolutely be able to pe pay me 10k for this. No, no they cannot afford. Another <laughs> Are you happy to listen? I think I can understand why. Ah. Oh. Just give it to them, bloody hell. Well, Take it. Fruitful. Okay, Londa did get a garrison and Lond Angren didn't, but it doesn't matter. Sire. We're just pushing, pushing, pushing anyways. You're going to move into Isengard territory. Take it for the elves. Follow me. You can join down here in the Follow south you. as well. Busra Doom can finally be upgraded, let's do that. Let's see if we have enough money to buy Dolvorn from Bree. It is good to see you, my friend. How can we help? I don't think so. We're going to try it nonetheless, though. Uh, very demanding still. Okay. Until Absolutely not. Sakala, A few more elites. They're probably going to come in handy later. Docklands at Thorin's Halls. Let's go for the... Blacksmith there. Glorfindel, join the army now. Yes, my lord. Come on. Take the journey. Elves. Over here, elves. And there we go. This is the army that is going to do it. What is the fastest way to Mordor? Well, take this path here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's bloody go. Coming of age. And you spawned over there at Busradum. Where do we send you? Under towers. Let's go into Under Towers with you. Sire. Elf. 
go in there. Pedeth and Loon, population. We're almost there. We're almost going to get it upgraded. The Northern Dude and I should really be on the offensive now. They should really be able to do something. They still have this region here, and that's a region we should really try and take as well. Uh, ND, if you want to, you could aid me in this attack at Dunlarak. I wouldn't say no to that. Looks like they're actually on the offensive now, the Northern Dune and That's nice to see. Finally, for the first time. Get them down there. You three can move down to Osnathil as well and retrain yourself. You could uh, go into this fort here. Get these elites here. You are going to retrain yourself at Austin Hill as well. Okay, let's take a look. Boats. You cannot travel up this path. That's frustrating. Oh, they have a full stacked army there. Bloody hell. Oh, they had another army there. Oh, God. Maybe we should... Oh, this is not nice. We might have a huge battle against Mordor. Oh, they had so many armies here. Oh my god. Well, the only way for us to defeat Mordor is to destroy the ring. Well, we have bought some time for Gondor, but they're likely going to try and attack me here. Again. We could try and do a long withdrawal back to the ship. I think that's the most, the best thing we can do here. Because all of these armies, uh, we need... I didn't know that the boat couldn't go this way here. That's pretty damn sad. I think what we could do, go into the boat, go to this side, take down Ostethil quickly, move for East of Skiliath, move over to this region here. Oh, they have a big garrison there. Minas Tirith as well. Oh, problematic. We could take the fight. It's going to be a tough fight to take, though. Oh, they have so much. We need to destroy the ring. We are, this army can only delay Mordor. It cannot um, make Gondor. We, we are not going to be able to take all of these regions back for them. It's not going to happen. They have too many armies here. And we cannot even sail up here. If we could, we could have done it, but we cannot. That's the issue. Without this opportunity here, they're going to catch me with all of these armies. There's nothing we can do. So, well, Glorfindel is on his way. That's a good, at least. Let's end the turn again, then. What I think that that our elven army is going to do is just delay Mordor. We are likely going to try and take another region from them. Probably Brethil. Take that from Mordor and try and hold there. Try and just defend, defend, defend. Try and buy the time necessary for Gondor. Uh, I don't think we can move up to Minas Tirith with that army. We need two or three more full stack down there in order to push them. One full stack is not enough. Let's see if they attack me here. Mordor, they didn't attack me. That is a big surprise. I'm not sure how good it would be for us to take Minas Tirith and those, those things back because I thinking that more is likely going to take them back straight away. Uh, it's a painful last stand of the Lamroth. Is the Lamroth going to fall? Take you in. Yeah, let's go. You're spawning in that. Wonderful. Retrain. We can recruit a bunch of troops here. We Let's do it. Let's recruit some of these elites here. Most advanced construction report, Harland City upgrade. Let's go for the economical buildings. Mithlond Inn, let's go for the public fountains. Bruinost, crop rotation market. Ostenedil, go for the just economical things. No, we need to get the Teleri barracks here, and then we can go for economical things. High pass, same here. Eco, eco. Mormatarth, Mount Graham, Irrigation. Barkeleg Fairground, we're going for that. That's totally... No, we'll go for that as well. 
Shipwright, Merchant's Wharf, Market, Crop Rotation. Angsul, Armour, Condum, Armour. Let's go for the Nolder in Armour there. How are things looking down there? Let's just train him. How are things looking down here? Oh, uh, we are quite surrounded. We cannot even move back to the fleet. Ah, uh, Mordor. Disgusting. Well, that's what you are. And look at them. They're pushing Gondor to the brink here. Glorfindel, hurry up. You need to be quick. As quick as you can be. Still a few turns left for you to get that. What we should do, we should definitely try and give Balorn to Gondor. That's going to buy them some extra time. Let's move in for Balorn. Uh, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to clear victory. Yes, thank you. Sack it. Move out. Give this one to Gondor. They are going to have to need this one. Yes, my lord. Dear friends, what can this is a good general, though. That's nice to see. Balorn, take it. You're get getting it for free. I accept an honor I'm not sure that they did get a garrison. Did get okay, well, that's good. Come, my brothers. We should get military access with them. We haven't got that, gotten that yet. We should absolutely get that. With Balorn, they should be safe for some more turns. They're likely not going to die. Let's move these armies into Isengardian territory. Kiladan, you're doing the same here. We should try and take this region while we get down here as well. Uh, with the help that we have given the Northern Dunedain, surely they should be able to <laughs> to win against Inadwaith now. I really hope so. I would be quite disappointed if they couldn't. Let's move a little bit back. I don't want to fight them though. What do you have with you? No, we're not. I'm not even gonna... I don't want to fight you. If I fight more, I want to fight a huge army. This is the region I want to get to. Brethil. Lin here would also be a good defensive located. Okay, this region. I mean, this would probably be the best one. Tarnost. Because then we're blocking Gondor. Tarnost, I think, is likely the best place for us to defend. We need to go back with the boat, though. Oh, this is a tough... They have... I'm going to... I'm going to talk to the Fog of War because I want to see how many armies they have. How many... Is there, like, a big train of mortar armies? Oh, look. Ugh. Yeah, look at them. Just sending everything they have. They have a full stack there. Full stack in Oskiliath. All of their armies down there. They have an army on the way to Pelargon already. Uh, they have this army. They have, oh, they have so much. And they're at war with Isengard, though. That's a good thing. At least something. Rohan is still alive. They have one settlement remaining. No, they have Hornburg as well. Uh, Rohan needs to survive. Uh, yeah. I think we should try and move for Tarnost. And hold there. Because we are not going to be able to do anything here. They're, they have too much. They have absolutely have too much. They're just gonna retake all of these settlements. There's no way. Go to Tarnost with the Elven army. Hold there until the ring has been destroyed. That's the best Whoa. bet here. Oh, you still have Amon Lank. You do. Uh, can you please go over there and scout? Without question, I didn't expect that, but it looks like the Elves tomorrow. have Stopping this under control and they have quite the army inside as well. That's good. That's really good. Keep besieging Dunlarak. These armies are moving in to do its things. I think Isengard has this territory. I think they do. We should try and get down there and take it. These regions here should be given to Gondor. We need to give something to Rohan though. We need another diplomat. Can we get any diplomat? Can we get a diplomat at Ostenethil? I don't think so. No. Uh, Sakala, no, we cannot get one. Anonarod, no. Bruinost. Imladris, give me another diplomat. Elves. We have a diplomat here, though, which is quite close to Rohan. Yes, yeah, you know, Lord. this diplomat is going to go there. Don't get the diplomat here, we don't need it. 
Okay, this diplomat, I want to... Sc we don't need to scout. Move down to Rochberg. Prepare to give regions to Rohan more. because we want to, to keep them alive. Dolamroth, I'm not sure that we are going to make them stay alive. We don't have the resources. We need to get back Come into the brothers. ship. We need to try and go here, disembark here. Move for Tarnost quickly, take it quickly and then defend it. This is a stronghold. So it's a really powerful defensive region. Hold a Tarnost. Make sure that Mora attacks us with wave after wave to protect Gondor. They've taken Dol Amroth as well. They only have Ethelon left. I think, yeah, that's the only region they... Oh, they have this island. That's good though. With the island here, they might survive a little longer. Go back to the ship. Let's end a turn. Let's do it. Oh, lordy lord. Lordy lord. And this turned into a slog fest. I'm really happy that we did find the ring. Otherwise, I don't even want to know how many battles we would have needed to fight against Mordor. 500? A thousand? I have no idea. Oh! Ostinadil, Captain Fildi. No, we're not going to help you with that army. No, I'm not going to support you. I'm sorry. You only have weak troops. You can fight that fight on your own. I'm not going to help you. We've done enough for you, Northern Dunedine. Mordor, don't attack me. Let me go into the ship again, because we need to go to Tarnost quickly and hold there. Block Mordor. That's what we need to do. And we need to get that bloody ring in there. And as soon as Mordor has been destroyed by the ring, we need to quickly give some regions to Gondor, because otherwise Harad is going to take them all. They're doing great. Lorien Prospers, have they taken another region? Oh, there's a lot of interesting things happening at the moment. Look at that. Push these armies forwards, Dunedain, please. Sire. Karas. Let's take this one as well. Go for siege one turn. You can join in as well. Just for one turn. And then we're gonna just take that one down as well. You are moving in to this area. To try and help Gondor. Retrained. and That's good. Well, we still cannot retrain Gildor. Two smiths in this army. I think we're only just queue everything up, bloody hell. Anon Rod, same thing here. Gobid Rhine, same thing here. Most advanced Mordor, I'm not surprised. I am not. They're doing too well. Yep, we're freed. Go into the fleet again quickly. Move here and disembark and move to Tarnost. I think Pelagi is still in Gondor's control. It's likely not going to stay that way for a long time though. They're going to lose it soon. Glorfindel, move. Your orders. You're going to move for Rochberg. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to do it again because I want to see how uh, Lothlorien are doing. Oh, this is... Have they taken... They've taken Roscobel. That's rather interesting. But they're likely going to lose Eidrachan soon, I'm thinking. They could. There's a high possibility that they are going to. And look at Gundabad now. A shadow of their former selves. They still have some really powerful regions though. They have Eskaroth, they have Thranduil's Halls, Tarfilin and Beyond's Halls. But hopefully Kasadum and Erebor together should be able to take them down. I'm not sure why they're not even trying though. They should besiege something. And this army could go and besiege somewhere as well. But they're not doing it. Well, things that look at north look at the Northern Duna line. Look at how large they have become. Our Blitzkrieg war, you can you know what, you, you can move up to Perth and Loon. We're not gonna go for Dol Warn anyways. But the Northern Tunadine has really gotten large. I'm hoping that they're going to send these armies somewhere. Perhaps down to Herod? 
or something. Could be a good idea for you to do. You could attack there with all of your armies. And you could take it on your own, perhaps. Uh, it would be nice if you could do that. I'm not sensing that you're going to, but... Um, it would be nice with some help. Well, there's nothing more we can do, honestly. There's not much more we can do. No, 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 Stone. You are going to move out Swiftly. soon. Um, we're getting a few more elites here. We have some Form more elites light. here on the way to be retrained. Uh, Sakala, high pass. We're getting more elites there. Elven These elites warriors. are also going to be retrained at Austinaville. Get the pikes, get the cav, get everyone. Let's end the turn again. The army that Dawn and Norston is going to take out with him is going to be a powerhouse of an army. Likely only consisting of uh, smiths nor and nor the warriors. Nothing lesser than that. Only elite forces with him. We could give that to Elrond and use the Cinder army only for Kildan like you guys wanted me to. In the comment section. But I don't think we have time to dot around with our armies at the moment. We need to keep on pushing and help. We cannot go back and wait until we can get the perfect army. We don't have the time to do that. If Rohan is to stay alive. I think that Rohan is going to die if we wait. So we need to continue our push. Against the evil forces. Yeah, we're just gonna keep beseeching. What are you doing here? I am but an ally. Why don't you Speak use these armies victory. somewhere? I am but an ally. Go for the baths. Kamath Brin, queue everything up here. And Thorin's Halls, let's go for this one there. Okie dokie. Let's have a look again. Let's see if we can just go in and take this one. We should be able to. Let's do it. Yeah, perfect. Wonderful. Sack it. And let's move for this region down here. Quickly. Kirdan. Move further north. Bregnas is a city I would like to take. Come, my brothers. You're moving to this region here. Let's move down. Yeah, Isengard has this. Let's take it. Yes, my lord. It's good to see you. We're just aiding everyone. We're just we don't even care for ourselves anymore. We're just giving everything to our friends. Oh, military axes, of course, I need. Well, we're gonna take it later. You did get a garrison as well. Wonderful. You're moving in for Bregnas. You are moving in for this region. You really have a tiny army, though. I'm not sure that you're gonna be able to do it, but let's try. Let's bloody try. Well, we have a lot of elites on the way to Austin. Keep retraining everything here. I just want to get Glorfindel over into Elves. Mordor. We need him inside of Mordor quickly. They're likely going to have a lot of armies there, but no uh, I don't care. He needs to get there. Fleet, Ships move ready. to Tarnos. We did buy some time for Gondor here because they still have Pelagi, so we did buy a little bit of time there. Ships move over ready. there, take Tarnos. We can go no further. Well, Sire. just keep going here. Don't fight yet. Just keep besieging. Let them starve to death, if that's what it takes. I do not care. I simply do not care. You are still on the move towards Rochberg. Prepare to talk to Rohan when the time comes. Uh, we still have this region here that we need to take. Heorotskir. That needs to fall. This needs to fall as well. Dunyard, which is the capital and it's a city. So it's going to be a little bit problematic to take it down. A little bit. Elves. Well, end it again. Uh, the men of Inad White, are they getting a bloody doomstack now? Do they really need that? L oh, Lebenin under siege again. By the light of okay. Fleet. Ships 
ready. Disembark. Okie dokie, let's move I'm you. The there we go. Stay alert. Keep moving. You're getting closer. You're almost Let at the Black Gate. It's not too many turns left until you're there. Elves. Over here, elves. We could ambush. try and make them sally forth here. Yeah. Let's try and attack. Let's see if they sally forth. Them. Put an end to this evil. Let's Keep hope them that they might. You're going for Bregnas. Take it for the elves. Oh. Attack Bregnas. There we, we go. The okay. Them. You're moving down to Kiridior. Like the wind. Take it for the can we? Put an end to this I don't think we can. Let's... Uh, at Beseech here. Take some Let's siege weapons. Have your weapons ready, elves. We're beseeching three major Isengardian regions at the moment. We're still attacking Dunlarak. Four turns remaining. North and Dundine, hey, please well use your army somewhere. Send them somewhere. I'm not sure that you're even trying to do anything. You could take this region here, but you're not. By They're the simply not order. doing a th single thing. You are almost at the border. Rochberg here. They have a big garrison in there. Border is knocking on their door, though. That's dangerous. Yeah. Border is pushing so many enemies at the same time here. And they're going to take Ethring. They're going to take it. If we don't get to Tarnost in time. Oh, bloody. Then we're going to have to take Ethring instead of Tarnost. These guys are soon going to be completed. Uh, Dorna Norsen's army should be ready to go soon. Elves. These guys are almost in this. Well, his army is going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely insane. We are going to create some magic with him. Hopefully these bastard Guldurian armies are not going to follow me too hard. We don't want to get stuck at Dorna Rack either. Let's see if Isengard sallies forth at um, Gind. They might do it. I'm not sure that we have the army to fight them. Uh, that army is quite battered. It is. Let's see if they do. If they do, we're going to take the fight. Are they finally attacking me here? They are. They have a lot of support. Okay, what on earth is making... Oh, we don't have the best army here, that's probably why. Well, I kind of... I don't think we want to take this fight. <laughs> no. Pull back. Move out. Elrond's army is not that great. We are going to make his armor the greatest in Middle Earth because we have all of those Noldo troops. So let's move Elrond back, take Donal Norston with him. We're just going to have the mightiest army in the world and take Donal Rack with that instead. They are sailing forth here though. That's good. Let's see if we can win here. I'm not sure that we can. Berserkers, we have javelins, we have archers. Our melee line is really weak. And you are a berserker general as well. Well, let's go in and let's see if we can destroy Lurtz. Let's go. Fight to the end. Oh, this turn of events. The battle started instantly since they sallied forth. Let's get the melee forces. Do we have any hill we could use? This little hill here would be nice, maybe. Let's pull back here. Javelins move over there. You are going to join the front line. The front line is really weak, but it's enough, I think. We have the general as well. He's really good. And archers stand over there. I want to try and focus down their berserkers first. They are the ones that can do the most damage to us. Lurt is over there. Orkman, Bane, God can also do a little bit of damage to us. They have a lot of good things against elves, Ice and God. They really do. Are we going to have to need... Yeah, I think we, we need to run here. Run a bit. Get over there quicker. The pikes doesn't need to run because they're really fast. Just walking. And I think that's enough. You can walk again. 
Keep okay, you know what? Run, because they're going for me with speed here. As soon as these berserkers are in range, we are going to fire at them. Javelin, I don't want you to fire just yet. I want to keep your ammunition. You're firing at the berserkers. Good. Both of you are going to do that. Fire at Lurt's unit. Spears, the ones we have, we only have 13. Go in shield wall. You're going to survive a little bit longer if you're in shield wall. Go for guard mode. General standing over there. We're doing any damage to these berserkers. We are doing a bit of damage. What do we have here? Orkman Bane God armor piercing units. That's not good. I think you might want to have that. I think you are going to try and flank on the side here. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Not sure that we are going to be able to win here. I'm not sure. Where is uh, Lurd's unit? It's this one, right? Yes, it is. Fire at Lurd's unit. You're moving to this side. Berserkers. Archers move to this flank as well and fire in the backs. That's what we're going to need to do in order to win here. Javelins, you're firing at the Berserkers. That's good. We're going to flank with you and help with the Bane Guard. We have Berserkers there as well. That's not good, is it? Fire on the Berserkers. Keep throwing your things. You're going to have to join the front line soon because otherwise we're going to lose. General, what's the unit we want to go for with you? Probably their spears. Spear guard. Yeah, that's the unit we want to try and go for. Still throwing at them. That's good. My spears are going to die soon. You fire at the Berserkers. You're, we're not going to send you in just yet. You're out. Support the front line. Go for the Bane Guard. Try and help. The Archer are doing some solid work though. We're firing in their backs. We're strengthening up the front line a little bit now with the Lindon Mariners. That's going to help our guys a little bit. Victory seems certain though my archers are still just slogging down these berserkers. Is it going to be enough though? I think you're going to try and flank here. Against the spear guard there. That's the safest location for you to go in against. And let the archers just do as much damage as possible to these berserkers. Frontline is not doing too great here. Yeah? It's dangerous. We might lose this one. I don't think there's a risk that we don't have enough. With the general joining though, are you going in for the berserkers? Yes, I think you are. The general is standing, where is it? He's over there. We're getting a few kills in their backs. This is a really solid unit. We're killing a lot of their berserkers here. These berserkers are moving out though. Try and fire at this unit. You're still fighting the spear god, that's good. This is Lurt's unit. Yeah, focus Lurt's unit down. Try and bring it down. Yeah, there we go. He's really weak to archer fire. Looks like he's going after my archers now. Split up. We need to focus him down. You need to split up faster. This unit is still firing at him. That's good. He's chasing after this unit, of course. Our strongest unit. That's my general. Uh, oh, he's in a pathetic position. He is, but we're doing okay in the front lines. As long as he doesn't die, we are fine. But he's not in a good position. But he's just fighting some spears. He's not even blooded up yet, so as long as these other guys can do some damage. They have, lost half their men. have they stopped? Yeah, they've stopped. Keep kiting. Let this unit fire some now on Lurts. 36 guys remaining in that unit. Oh, he's blooded up now a bit. Uh, try and help him. Oh, you're moving for this unit now. Yes, you are. Fire at them. Pull away. 
Yeah, please try and assist the general. There we go. My general should be in a bit better position now. Yes, he is. Good. 26 remaining. Keep kiting them. 60% of their arm has been killed. We need to kill Lourdes here and we, we are going to have victory. And he is in here. Keep up the fire. They're stopping. Give them a volley quickly. Oh, you're not going to make it. Keep running then. These spears are likely going to lose. They are losing. Well done, General. You did get a kill there. That's good news. You are going to go into melee with these units soon. Go in. Go into melee with them. Give them a volley before you go in. They're going to flank us. Keep firing at them. Fire, fire, fire. 21 remaining. Keep up the fire. Well, these spears are getting totally decimated. And these Basaks are getting totally decimated as well. From such tidings does victory emerge. We don't want them to get a good flank on us. Keep firing. Weaken them as much as possible. No, they're gonna flank me, my mariners. Go in, flank them. And you're gonna go and fire here on this side. We're weak here. Send these archers into melee as well. And let these archers flank here and fire at them. Really hoping that my general is not going to die. He is still really bloody up here. That's not good. If we can just kill Lourdes here, they're likely to break all of them straight away. 35 berserkers remaining here. We kill our Lourdes is dead. They're going to break now. They are likely going to break. Spear got here. 7 remaining. Wa wavering, yeah. Yeah, these guys are broken. Everyone is broken except these Berserk units. Well, victory is ours. Good. Good. Calaquent Lords, 122 kills. Linda Mariners, 128. Well, this was a decent battle. We did take Gund with this victory. And this army, this tiny little army, is still able to do some damage to them. I'm really happy about this army. Well done. Important one. Sack it. We're gonna move out straight away. And Turin has deserved himself some much needed rest here, I would say. Gind is also going to be given to Gondor. Yeah, let's take you in, why not? Um where did you spawn? Mythlond. Go up to Furiost, garrison that region. Lebenin fallen again. Well we did buy some time for them. Oh, a lot of things has been constructed. Let's go for the Builder's Guild House here. Bruinos Crop Team, we're going for that. Arnon and Rod. Noldo, get the Noldo troops there. Mortarth Armour, we're going for a lot of things there. Borkeleg Armour, we're going for that. And Angsul Armour, let's go for the Noldo in Armour there. Okay, you're going in there as well to be retrained. You're moving back. Move back. Scout the area. Order's completed. Come, my brothers. My lord. This army me. is going to be given to Gildor. He's going to take this army, and this army, Elves. with all of these elites, is going to be led by Elrond and Donor Norston together. <laughs> it's going to be a mighty Onward. army. It's going to be the Take best the army in the entire of Middle-earth. It's actually the army that I would have wanted with Glorfindel, but uh, I didn't want to linger. I'm going to Glofendal, ignore Captain Grolg. Keep moving. Go on your journey. Just go for the Black Gate. Oh, we could get some Avari troops here. Is it worth it, though? Is there, is there anything here that is worth getting rid of? I don't think so. No, it's not worth it. Move. Forlond, let's upgrade you. Okay. We're besieging a Gondor. Are you going to help me here? No, if you could just stand over there, then you could have helped me. 
second move out. Let's get the military axes with them. And I also want map info from them. And we are going to give you Gint in return. Okay, let's take a look. This is what they have left. This is shown as white. This region. I'm not sure why. And so is this. Well, okay. They have these regions though. And Kitty the Or is likely to fall soon from us. You are going to try and move home. You have done well. You deserve some rest. Go back to Arnon and the Rod or something. You're besieging here. Bregnas. We could likely just take down as well. Yes, let's do it. Clear victory. Sack it. Move to the east. It's time to help Rohan. Move to the east. Go. You don't have the best arm in the world. Can we just... No, don't take the fight. Move for this region. Or Isengard itself, maybe. And give that to Rohan. Uh, let's give that one to the Northern Dune and Nine as well. They can take it. Why not? Yes. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. I and hopefully they get did get a garrison Farewell. there. They did. Wonderful. Uh, we are going to take the biggest fight of the ages here at Dunlarak with Donald Norton and Elrond. In the next episode, we are going to have a full Noldor army. Uh, with us, we are going to want to train everyone into so that are, that they are maxed out in terms of defense and offensive and armor-wise and things like that. So it's going to be an interesting next episode. Glorfindel is still on his way to Mordor. We're not too far from the Black Gate anymore. We just need to get through the Black Gate, push in here, and stand here. We are close, we just need to take the Black Gate down, and this army can definitely do it. It can. We have catapults, we have a lot of good things in this army. It's not the best army we could have, got, could have gotten, but it's good enough, I think, to do the job. And we simply cannot linger. You are going to move into Tarnost. Oh, it's open. Yeah. yeah. We are likely going to have to... What's what's this? It's a stronghold. Oh, bloody hell. By the light of Elbereth. Bloody, bloody hell. The fact that it's a stronghold... Uh, the towers. They're going to do so much damage to me. It's insane. Everything is so weak and pathetic here, except the Great Beast. We have javelins though, but the towers are going to decimate us. We are going to have to need some siege weapons, and they're likely going to send in another army against us. Likely this one, and attack me. Well, we're going to take this fight in the next episode. Get some siege weapons. They are going to attack me. We are going to have to take the fight against them. And if we win here, Thanos is ours, and we can hold it for Gondor. While we protect them. I think with this army, this army here, we're just going to send it down with Gildor and he can move down to Dunyard or something with that army and do whatever he wants to. Kirdan is just pushing everyone here to the brink, you're returning home. Gund actually got a garrison as well. Let's take a, one last toggle the fog of war before we end this episode as well. We are besieging Kirdior. So we are trying to help Gondor here as well. Uh, Gondor is not that weak with our successful raiding campaigns here. They've gotten Balor, they've gotten Karas, they've gotten Gund. They're likely going to get Kid of the Or soon as well. They are surviving. Isengard is going to be brought down to its knees with Kirdan moving into Isengard and Isengard and Darvath and things like that. And the Northern Dunedain... I mean, I don't understand you. I just don't. 
look at the amount of territory that they have. They're still not attacking or trying to do anything with their armies. They're, they're not doing anything. I, it would be interesting to teleport all of these armies in here and see what the AI does. Teleport all of these full stacked armies outside of Dunlarak and see what happens. If they try to fight them, if or if they just withdraw from that position. These armies are looking... It looks like they're moving back home. Well, they're not the aggressive type, that's for sure. I find it rather odd. How does it look here with Hornburg? Hornburg is probably safe for a while now because we are pushing against Isengard. Oh, mortal. Are we going to be able to break through into this area here? I'm hoping that we are. The only thing we need to do is just to break through the Moranon and then quickly move in here and then go to the volcano. All of their armies are out in the front line, so I think we can do it. They have a big garrison at Ethelond, and they have this region. That's really important. Because then the Lamroth should survive. I wonder, Harad, who are you at war with? Let's take a look. You're at war with Kand. Oh, Rune has taken Oibamari. Well, Kand should fall soon. Because they're surrounded by enemies, they cannot do any anything anymore. And as soon as Harad has defeated Kand, I wonder if they're going to declare war to Rune or Mordor after. Because they're not going to border any enemies anymore. Well... That could happen, but hopefully we can destroy the ring before that happens, because I just want to get rid of Mordor and Dol Guldur. Dol Guldur should follow, and still here... Oh, it looks like they're actually sending an army in here now. Just set... set go to Tower Filin and take it. Look, I, so, I, I, I don't understand. Casadum hasn't taken a single new region on their own. All of the region regions that they currently have are the ones we have given to them. They are just walking past here. They're not doing anything. Still. They're sending them into enemy territory, but they're not using them at all. Well, I'm not sure that we are going to play on version 5 for the next campaign, because it seems to be kind of clunky, honestly. The AI just doesn't do anything of use. The enemy AI does, but uh, not your allies. They don't do anything that could help you. It could be that the fact that we are still at war with Enidwyth. If we are no longer at war with Enidwyth, maybe then the Northern Dunedain would start doing something. Maybe that's the thing to help the AI against the human player, if if we weren't at war with Enidwyth, then, then maybe the AI would think, okay, they're not a threat to the human player, so it doesn't matter if we attack them either. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, Gondor is uh, looking a lot stronger, though. Gondor is not going to die. They're not going to. That's a certain fact, at least. Uh, so, Mord is not going to get up all the way to Karas before we destroy the ring. So, Gondor is safe. Rohan, though, on the other hand, are not that safe. They are in the shitter. Glorfindel, you need to get the ring over there quickly. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed. Have a good day. Goodbye. To you all.